In this video, I'm going to talk about the new upgrade kits that we will be offering in 2022, alongside the kit that we already do for the Bafang BBS HD and BBS 02 motors. The clip you just saw was the first Back 2000 kit for the Lightning Rods big block motor. And you can see more of this bike and lots of other really awesome light electric vehicle projects on Nick Wrinkle's YouTube channel. He's a really great guy and I look forward to seeing that bike finished. So in 2022, the BBS HD upgrade kit will be joined by two more motor kits. And these are going to be for the Bafang Ultra Motors and for the Lightning Rods Big Block, Big Block XL, and soon to be available, the XXL, which is a genuine 22 kilowatt monster of a motor. A quick recap on the BBS HD over here, and then we'll look at the Ultra kit and the big block motors as well. So for anybody that doesn't know, the kit for the BBS HD over here uses the back 855 from ASI and it enables that BBS HD motor to be run at 4000 watts and with a 72 volt battery, which significantly boosts its performance. The kit was first launched in June last year, and we started out with just five units with the 750 display here. But we've continually looked to enhance the kit and several advances have been made during the year. The first was the addition of automatic thermal protection, which is uh, this little tiny thing down here. Uh, this is a thermistor and it was added on to part of our kit to basically replace the one that Bafang do actually include on their motors. It's just they've included two different ones over the year or over the years. So it's a little difficult to know which one is in the motor. So we've made it simple by adding that one on there. And that throttles back the motor when it gets too hot and we have different profiles depending on whether you're BBSHD has the stock nylon, the steel, or the, uh, the peak reduction gear. Uh, the second big area was the addition of the, the Egg Rider V2 to the lineup. There's a lot to like with the Egg, um, but the major drawback was that uh, if you use a 72 volt battery with this, it, it fries it. So we looked at various different solutions, and the one that we really like and that we are using is this tiny little board here that Mike has made. And this gives the correct voltage to turn the back on. And it also uh, gives the correct voltage to the egg to make sure you can run it at any of the regular voltages. So 48, 52, 72, um, and that deals with that. And you don't need an external switch to turn your bike on and off. Um, everything works with the, uh, with the power on and off with the switch there. Although the kits for the BBS HD are like a pretty mature product, we are still looking for ways to improve it and we'll continue to do so. And probably the simplest thing that I've done recently um, was to, to make these because we had a few customers that were pinching zip ties and one even severed one of the wires. And the wires in these um, harness connectors are quite small. There's like 12 wires or something going through these. So if you pinch them and zip ties can be, uh, can be quite sharp, on the edges so if the sharp edge of the zip tie pinches in with this wire it can cause all sorts of issues um, including um, damage to the to the controller here so all i've done is make um, a little piece and that fits around um, any harness wires and i'm going to have various different sizes of these um, so when you put it on the frame and you tighten it around it doesn't pinch into the wire and we'll make these available with the kits that we send out now let's move on to the kit for the Bafang Ultra. Mike at High Voltage has been working away at this one for the best part of 2021. It's great to get a chance to talk a bit more openly about this one. The Ultra is a very difficult motor to produce a plug and play kit for, which is why it's not been done so far. There have been a few successful one-offs and some throttle only senseless configurations with the Back 2000 and the Grin Phase Runner, but nothing genuinely repeatable. This will be the first user-friendly kit that you can use with a Bafang Ultra that gives full functionality. And by that, I mean full use of the torque sensor for pedal assist and full connectivity with the hall sensors in the motor for smooth operation. In order to do this, Mike created a circuit board which acts as an interface between the hall and torque sensors. 
You can see this in the video that's playing, which is from the installation instructions. You can watch and learn about this process on the High Voltage website via the link in the description. The install process is a bit more fiddly than with the BBSHD, but nothing that care and patience cannot accomplish. Right now, this kit is with some very experienced e-bike builders, Rainbird and Rubelo from the Discord community. Big shout out to them. Their help over the last year has made a huge difference to this project. Numbers of this kit will be very limited initially. So to start with, we're looking for experienced bike builders to work with. If you build multiple bikes with the Ultra and are interested in what we're doing, then get in touch. Perhaps you can work with us in this initial run of kit. Once we're happy that everything is going smoothly and ironed out any kinks, we can make the kits more widely available. This will work with both the 1.5 version of the Fang Ultra, as well as the newer CAN bus motors. So in theory, those cool fray bikes and anything with an Ultra can get the back 855 treatment. After the back 855 kit here is doing well, we'll see if we can get the same setup working with the back 2000 as well. Although I do have some doubts as to the long-term viability of the gears in the Ultra above 4.5 kilowatts. Last, but by no means the least, is the kit we're doing for the lightning rods motors. And it's actually a family of motors. There is the, the small block, which I don't actually have here. There is the big block, which is the one that Nick had on his bike. Uh, the big block XL, and that's the two that you can see here, which are set up for stuff with the Sir Ron, and also um, the one over here on Mike's drive kit for the Vector Typhoon bike. And coming later on in 2022, there is the XXL, and that is a true 22 kilowatt beast of a motor, and it's going into bench testing in a couple of weeks. This motor is being considered for a number of projects and designs for use with the Suron bike are actually in progress. We'll be offering kits for all of these motors with the ASI Back 2000, the Back 4000 and the Back 8000, depending on the size of motor that you want to use. If you're interested in using these motors um, or getting uh, a kit for a Typhoon or an Enduro style build or a tube frame style bike, um, you can get in touch with Mike Backus of Lightning Rods and he produces a whole range of motor kits. The images showing on the panels on the right are from Mike's drive kits. Once you have a Lightning Rods motor kit on the way or under manufacture, we'll be happy to get you set up with a controller kit to make it really scream. If you already have a bike with a big lock motor from Mike and need a new controller, please get in touch as well. Right now, we have the initial batch of these controller kits that will be on their way to Lightning Rods customers who have been waiting a while for a turnkey controller for their motors. There are also three Sir Runs which are gonna be equipped with these motors and they're part of the beta testing program for the motor swap that we've got going on. As well as controllers for the motor, we will also be looking at supplying the kind of battery required to power them. And if you need help mounting the backs to your bike, there will also be a redesigned series of mounts to help you do just that. Essentially, we wanna make it as easy as possible for someone to build themselves an awesome light electric vehicle with the Lightning Rods motor. If you're interested in using the Lightning Rods motors, why not join our Discord and get in touch directly with Mike at Lightning Rods to discuss your project. Links are in the description. Over the next little while, a lot more information on these kits will start to get posted onto the website and onto our Discord server. Feel free to stop by. Links are in the description, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask away. Thanks for watching the High Voltage channel. Cheers.